So I've always thought that self-compassion is like being kind to yourself. When I was younger, I never struggled with being confident. The closer I get to 30, all these insecurities are creeping out of the woodwork. If I were to write down my internal monologue, it would sound something like this. That hair makes you look like you are Marge Simpson. You're not even 30 yet and you've got wrinkles on your forehead when you lift your eyebrows. Do you even have clothes? You don't even have a sense of style. You suck, look, you're almost 30 and this is what you've got. This needs to stop. No, you don't even, no. I don't talk to myself like this. I don't, what is happening? Today, I'm gonna take you out because you deserve it. Okay, hello Jeezy, I know, but maybe I just want an excuse to make myself some good food, okay? My legs I feel like mush. I feel like I can't walk. I'm gonna make myself some spaghetti and it's gonna be from scratch and I'm gonna make my own noodles, thank you very much. Oh, I'm so tired now. So I just have to get ready and dressed for town. My plan was, let's do a quick shower head and drop. Drum Heller is like a 40 minute trip there and back. This is ridiculous to just go into town for a few tomatoes and some fresh herbs and cheese, right? Oh, they've got like lots of chicken herbs. But not at that price, honey. I tell you now. Oh wait, so you're getting a text. Weirdly enough, that was a text from Joel that was like, where's my lunch? Yeah. So oh, I'm a terrible wife. Nothing is cheap, $4 for the tiniest little thing of mozzarella. Whatever, I'm buying it because I want some cheese on my spaghetti. Still feeling so bad about Joel. I'm gonna make this meal for him and it will be delicious. There you go. All right, before I get distracted into buying anything else, let's go. Now my deadline is this, get this all done before six o'clock when Joel gets back. Okay, it's time to get rolling on this supper. I just want it to be like a really good, perfect dinner because I want it to work out. You know? Yep. Two hours before six, I might have cut myself a little bit of short. <laughs> Next up, let's make some pasta. I forget. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I was so stupid to not think about this. I forgot we don't have a pasta maker. Oh no, I forgot to take out the water chores. We're kind of crunched for time now. So stupid of me. Why didn't I check it earlier? I also forgot to wash the windows. Everything is starting to pile up on top of each other. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this done before six. Okay, since we do not have a pasta maker, whatever you wanna call it, and I only have this tortilla press. This is not going to plan. Shoot. Okay, now I really don't have time because I thought that would work, but I guess we're going to have to go the old rolling pin way. Ugh. I feel like an idiot. I should have just done the easy thing. It's gonna have to work. That looks like a noodle. That looks like an, yeah, it's a noodle. It's a noodle. It's, it's not perfect. Oh, it's taking forever to roll out. Oh man, I'm just gonna come home. A mess. I wouldn't you look nice before Joel gets back? I don't think that's gonna happen. I feel like such a stupid failure. I really, really, really wanted this to be a nice meal. But I'm so tired of continually feeling like I am just awful. <laughs> something nice for myself which might sound stupid and that probably sounds cheesy and it's probably ridiculous but you ever have those days where you just feel like crap and then you think maybe there's something I can do to change that I went in today being like you know what Rebecca you're gonna learn some self-compassion for yourself and here I thought self-compassion was maybe speaking nicer to myself because I thought that I had issues with just how I looked. The water is boiling. I might be able to do this before he comes back. <laughs> They're by no means my best pasta work, but I'm gonna take it. I'm here to be compassionate to myself. That means I need to stop being mean to me. I've been so mean to me today. That's what's wrong. 
failed. Maybe? <laughs> I failed. I was trying so hard to get this done and be all presentable before you got back. Do you need a hand with anything? No, you just come on in, make yourself at home on the bed. And I'm just going to finish serving up a delicious, fancy meal of homemade <laughs> noodles that look a little bit janky because I don't have a noodle maker. All this time, I have thought that being self-compassionate was about being kind to yourself. And now I'm having the realization that for me, self-compassion is letting go of perfectionism. I want everything to be perfect. I want the perfect body. I want the perfect house. I want the perfect meal. I want the perfect husband. I want to be the perfect wife. I want perfect. It's helpful for me to go through this process of exploring what self-compassion was because I truly thought the self-compassion was about being kind to yourself. And now I'm realizing self-compassion is simply allowing yourself to be, to exist.